DevSec 2022 podcast presented by Cisco. Uh, today is all about workforce development and I can tell you the next conversation should be an interesting one. And this is really all about retooling veterans in a way that they're ready for the workforce of the future. Jeff, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, so uh, my name is Jeff Musson. I'm executive director of Coding for Veterans and our organization helps military veterans retrain for jobs in software development and cybersecurity. So Jeff, uh, first of all, how did you get involved in this? So what's interesting is I've had family members serve in the military, but I actually come from the tech industry. Okay. And in the tech industry in Canada, there's a current projected shortfall in the next 12 to 18 months of about 147,000 IT jobs that are gonna go unfilled. So um, for Canada to have a robust tech economy, you need workers. Right. And what's interesting is, is that when you look at the soft skill set of someone coming out of our military, you know, things like attention to detail, leadership, teamwork, can-do attitude, those are the best qualities um, of people in the IT industry. Right. And so, you know, kind of that was the initial premise uh, or thesis that really got this program, you know, Cool. Sorry, sorry about that, Jeff. Someone actually came up speaking to me. That's the uh, one of the challenges of a trade show floor <laughs> in the middle of the recording. Well, exactly. That's fine. I mean, it's, it's very dynamic here for sure. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, I want to pick up on your point. I think we might have talked about this yeah. last year at DevSec, right? Uh, we often refer to those things as soft skills. Yes. That ability to communicate, that ability yeah. to work effectively within a team, leadership abilities, right? Those things that are instilled in military service and military members very, very early. I refer to those things as permanent skills because technical skills, yeah. you're retraining, yeah. right? Those to me are the soft skills. They're coming to, to the table with the hard skills those permanent skills. It's not perishable, it's instilled in them. So you're really focusing on a niche group of people with a very interesting skill set. Yeah, and what's been interesting is it's, our program since I was here at DevSec last year has expanded. So we not only uh, retrain military veterans, but we got approval with uh, D&D for current serving members to now oh, wow. take our program, right? Then we approached government because we had a number of military spouses, family members, and reservists that wanted in on our program. And we were able to get funding for them to offset the cost of tuition. So what really started out as a veteran focused now is a veteran slash current serving member ecosystem. So how does the funding work? If somebody wants to engage in this, well, where do they go? What do they do? So if someone is a veteran, uh, they're able to access uh, what's called their Veterans uh, Education Transition Benefit. And if they've released since uh, after 2006 and served a minimum of six years, uh, they get $45,000 uh, in funding to help them transition from you know military life to civilian. Right force? And reserve or just rank, rank, rank force, or if the reserve, if they added their entire time, yeah, okay, to as be as long as their service was six, that amount of time, six and full years, okay. right? Um, now, for current serving members, there's a new program called SD Peer, so the letter S, D, and then P E E R, and um, the CAF member has to uh, get approval from D and D to right. take the program. But then what we did for military spouses, family members, and reservists, and quite frankly, there were also a number of veterans that didn't serve the six years, right? right? Or they released prior to two, so they couldn't access that funding. So we went back to our corporate partners, we went back to government, and we said, look, um, people coming out of our program, I would, you know, I, I don't have the hard data on this yet, but I can tell you we have one of the highest ROIs of any uh, government program out wow. there because a graduate coming out of the Coding for Veterans program, um, they're averaging $85,000, $90,000 in annual salary. So if governments look at what that individual will pay in income tax over a 24, you know, 36 month period. Yeah, they're getting their money back too. <laughs> absolutely, right? right? Yeah, yeah. And so um, 
at that point it becomes a no-brainer. Right. And then add to the fact, because with our program, just because someone wants to enroll doesn't necessarily mean that they come in. We actually spend a lot of time doing interviews. We they write a soft skills assessment. We make sure that the right people are in the program, which then translates to an over ninety percent placement rate. Wow, coming up, Jeff. When we spoke last year, how many were in the program? So last year we were just under two hundred. I think it was one hundred and seventy-five. Uh, that, that number right? rings a bell. We're now over three hundred. Um, students. So this program has just skyrocketed and what was interesting was um, uh, last week I, uh, Coding for Veterans, hosted a reception on uh, Parliament Hill. Right. And you know we were kind of doing a little reflection back. It was really the first reception uh, post-pandemic and coincidentally our last reception was done uh, four days before I said we fell off the cliff. Right. So it was a little bit of a reflective moment, right? And yeah. we said, you know, back when pre-pandemic, there were only a handful of people, like under 10 in this program. And then, yeah, so um, so looking at the program, we had you know just under 10 people pre-pandemic. And now coming, hopefully, <laughs> out of this pandemic now, right? We're over 300. Tell me this, Jeff, is it a set program or is it bespoke or is it sort of a subway model where they can come in and out of the thing? Yeah, so what happens is it's it's really a focused, it's called micro-credentialed, right? So um, it's intensive, it's very subject specific. So in a traditional um, program, because our program, and I should mention this, is delivered in partnership with the University of Ottawa. So okay. it's university credentials, university credited courses. And so what happens is, is that uh, if someone is in software development, it's 650 hours worth of a course curriculum okay. delivered 100% online with instructors. And, and really, in essence, it's a roadmap. Okay. And what's interesting is, is that the vast majority of people in a program do not come from an IT background. And in fact, the largest area that we draw from out of the military is infantry and artillery. Oh, wow. And what's interesting about that is, I asked individuals why, right? Because really our initial premise was, ah, you'd get a lot of signals. And, and we still do, you know, or, or other IT-based um, occupations. Um, <clears throat> what they said to us was, there was very little transferable skills from someone in the infantry and artillery into a civilian op occupation. You can't go shooting missiles down Young Street yeah. or Barrington Street down here. and but. They're very familiar with technology right. and what our program does is provides a pathway. Right. So when you look at that software program at 650 hours, our cybersecurity one is 980. Right. And wow. it's very subject specific. Jeff, it sounds like you're doing uh, fantastic work and the program is growing, obviously, and you're expanding into different areas. You're making a real difference and thank you for that. What would your final pitch be for the for Coding for Veterans? Yeah, our final pitch, it really is, you know, Coming to Coding for Veterans, you know, we like to say, you know, it's from deployment to employment. So we can provide that pathway, gives you a stable career coming out of the military, which quite frankly, I think is the best, you know, way to honor a person's service, you know, for, for the sacrifice and everything that they've done is, you know, they've served our country, now we're, we're gonna take care of them. Wow. Alan, I just wanna say this, some people talk about that, but you actually have taken action. And for that, I'm going to thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I got to tell you, it's not me; it's my team, right? And you know, when this program first started, um, we didn't know what to to expect. Now, you know, we've got the track record, we've got you know the experience, and you know, the best days are in front of us. Good. Another great conversation, DevSec 2022, presented by Cisco. Thanks very much. Thanks, guys.